Beano Black here folks and right off the bat we got our object and then we scroll down and we're at 400 percent you've seen our date and there you go now there has been people and you can see it and mention and watched it worldwide telescope and NASA has even given us these shots of it looks like some kind of embryonic or insects way off in space when they are looking through telescope you go to worldwide telescope and you look around in space and you zoom in on some infrared stuff and on some galaxy stuff way the heck out there and you see this stuff that looks like this and then this is the reflection that we get down there and you know what it looks like an alligator or something laying on top of the roof uh, so and this is stuff that I didn't want to mention talking about that these holograms do because when you go back to my American beautiful Nibiru sighted on Earth very first, you know, and all that stuff like that, uh, there's holograms. And they are in some very uh, secretive Native American areas where I don't know if, you know, in, you know, the local natives said, you know, hey, you should really, when it's this time of the year, and it's not really this time of the year, it's just the idea that it's known to come, and if it ever comes up there, either that or someone has seen anomalies there before, okay? And they get these, and this is the Antarctica. So it could be electrical energy, but we really do know by looking at all of these objects up by the sun, i.e., let me go to, to the latest Soho, but just check out the wild because we seen that other image so we get all these different images and basically the Bible is a history okay and there's been times through the ages written in history in not only the Bible the idea that people through eight ages went nuts so seeing stuff and objects in space it just drove them nuts you know so forth and so on so what more do we got coming because we get these images you know and then let me go to what possibly created the crucifix a long time ago and it's not the first time I've said it or mentioned it uh, we got the V I got this blown up a thousand let me pop to I can pop to this and show you that they don't really want to see let you see it on two so I'll go ahead and hit uh, I got the cut and paste here I can do on that or actually I already did it I went to two so you can see it I think oh no I gotta replace it I go to three place this and we'll hit search and you'll get this and wait for it to load but we're gonna be looking at this okay because I got this blown up to a thousand now we go up into the left corner and you'll get what I'm talking about because the idea that it's also like Nibiru has got the tetrahydrons and I think we got way more than one of these things out there way more than one because you can see them and with this constellations or whatever what it is uh, this stuff is all over the place. Up by the sun. We know the sun's in the supergiants. Are these our constellations getting closer to us than they've never been before when they're up by the sun? So, uh, you may be able to pick that one out, but the idea that it looks like a lot of these that look like a lot of our constellations that we have down. And there you go with what, let me go to, uh, they may also get misrepresented, but that, see, that is too large to be a satellite. And, but it sure looks like the, uh, the long light line that we end up seeing down at Hawaii. So, uh, spaceweather.com, I think I've got a, uh, so anyway, just very neat, you know, across and whether it's but and let me give you this star chart real fast this is currently so the idea that down when we're looking at uh, this shot at regular size C3 because this is what I had blown up for you more than likely that is Venus should be the closest thing to the Sun so on two that I, which I showed you there for a split second was blacked out is you've got this V triangulation action V triangulation action, i.e. blown up a thousand percent to for you to look at, and then you got that there. And move down the V triangulation down here. I got it when I had it a thousand. I 
search it out. And we know we got the one to the right. Move over to the right there. You got that one there, the small one. And then uh, we got this one up here to the right. So, and then plenty of other what anomalies up there because basically we end up with this in the sky down in Antarctica and we know we keep on getting this there and it's not a glitch or an, uh, scratch or dirty and then you get this hologram here this hologram here which produces this hologram down here so I'm gonna try to look at the other shots and put them a little ironic or weird too because usually they show you the first shot that they have in the set and it's not the first shot that they show us on the deal as I will go back a page because I'm going to show you we'll be able to see it when I move down and I'll click on here we'll see what's giving us that image there okay because you see the light coming down there it basically is not our from here giving us that image okay that's part of our anomaly up here okay this is good it's going to give us the light is going to be I can just hit it right now I guess basically it's this on the right hand side here this brightness and you can see the time so and it matches up with our bright object that I'm going to show you the pictures from yesterday that I didn't get time and you might have got a little glimpse of it at the end of the video yesterday okay and then I'll go back up to the time okay and you know it's here I've zoomed in 400 percent so you can see how bright it is and it's basically the same object that we get at the other part of Antarctica uh, there's a time December 2nd okay and from Nehemiah on these dates and time yesterday, okay, from the first to the second, uh, we get this frozen in the sky, okay. And I was able to blow it up. And here is, there it is to the left there. But there, here is a triangulation. Bam, bam, bam. Okay. I think maybe I was able to show you that. But there's that. Again, it gets in front of the sun. And we'll, I mean, you can see that there's like two parts to it. And even more, there you go. So it's not the sun rays doing it. We've already shown that in the past anyway. We've proved that uh, they started putting some kind of a crap and putting a radar dome there and everything. And it, I don't, really do not believe it was a scientist down there doing it. I think it was uh, PSYOP something. Somebody wanting to, because Bino doesn't believe in the UFOs, folks. I know that these are objects in space that are out there. And, you know, we were... And there you go, and you're going to get a good shot of, you can blow these up to whatever size once you get it, especially when you got it on my player. You pull up the full screen, you should be able to get to see this pretty good. And you can tell that it's the baby blue Kachina. I mean, it basically gives a holograph of itself right down here to Earth. So, uh, that one there is a real good one. You might even be able to blow that up and get some kind of idea if there's any kind of land mass on it or something, you know, like water inland or not. Now, whether this is a dwarf that's in front of it or if it's just light that gets put off of it, who knows. But we do see it there in the sky. We've been seeing it like crazy for a long time. And we even show it basically more than likely this, since we have two portions of it up there, and it goes towards more than likely Rigel Canteris B, Okay, it's got our very solid, flat, or spherical one side. But as you've seen, and as you, we do know it flops around, but is it one, it basically shows, and we do know that it follows that Rigel Canteris B, or whatever the heck it is, at like 56% to 77% the size of the sun. The clock don't lie to you, because... That's not the sun coming up at 510. That's this going away. And then the sun comes up. So, And you, you can even see it here on the continent. I've, I watched the sun this morning. And it's small to begin with. And then it's bigger. And it wasn't because it was burning through the clouds either. It was on the sunrise. Okay, And it's two pieces. Check that out. Like a planet that's gotten whacked or something. A comet that's gotten hit. Why it was dying or something. So that's blown up 1,000% folks. And it flops around. And it gets in front of either Rigel Canteris B or another object of the supergiants. And it's like got whacked at one time or other in outer space because it's in it. They all end up, it seems like, all the time. And then I will in the future be able to show you like that. And that was yet a couple of days. That was, that was the, 
the idea the only thing that would have been down there would have been the moon. And uh, that's not the moon getting in front of the rival Cantaris P, and the sun's not down there, okay? So. And we got also down their ship. The, I think this is probably the Clark again. And it's Friday, December 2nd. So, and you can see it there trailing off. That's not, I mean, and basically, I, you know, the number one thing to think about here, folks, is this is not, it, it, you know, this proves even more. I mean, it's not the sun. The sun's not over high at 2200 down there. They do get 23 to 24 hours of sunlight at that time, but that's too small and not the sun. Okay. So, not up that late. The sun comes up at early a.m. UTC time of like 4.30 to 5 or something like that. To 5.30 or something. Over in Lapland, the Finns have got a shot at Finnish Lapland. The guy shot a picture of the Aurora. CMEs probably came in from the 25th. He got this on the December 1st. He snapped this. So the October, or the November 25th or something, CME probably was that one. Or they are just staying down there and, and lighting up the northern lights pretty good. So remember, the sun's still flaring. We're getting the V actions up there. And oh, let me look at this. On, I found it on uh, also, I found more than likely the uh, our object. Now, IE of our time, 2 a.m., with that being Rigel Cantaris B, the only thing that that possibly could be would be Venus. But why would Venus get a shadow? Because the sun shouldn't give it a shadow down there. Okay, especially at that 2 a.m. time. Okay, so more than likely that's what I just showed you blown up, and it's in front of Rigel Cantaris B, and this brightness is from Rigel Cantaris B at 2 a.m., and it's also earlier, and then it comes across the building. And then from another angle, same time, I mean, you know, different hour, but same date down there. There it is, and a different on the other camera going the other direction, from the other direction. There are object, okay. Okay, and folks, and this is pretty much still it right here. And IE, more than likely, that's our object that we see up here in the Soho, our Soho shot over to, i got to bring it up, what I was showing you up there or another related triangulation because, I mean, that sure the hell looks like that down there. And we see this, what we have that anomaly down there all the time, so it sure looks like our culprit. I mean, it looks like our object that we're looking for, because you sure see it down here in uh, this shot here. I mean, you can see it. That's our object that I keep zooming in on at 9 o'clock, I mean at 1900 hours, and then you have this, this, and this, and this. So, I mean, it's holograph, okay, and it's freaking people out. It's a holograph, okay. And basically, it's just filling, folks, but I have showed you in the past, and here you go. It's upside down, more than likely, because more than likely this is Venus, and all of us from looking at Soho and pretty much know the antenna. And like I showed you on two from the Navy, they didn't really let us see something, so the idea they might have been something else to see there. Maybe they took an x-ray shot and they didn't want us to see that again. And I'm going to show you something in the future of NASA sitting there lying. And this is pretty much what we're seeing down there, is this object here is this object there on on three okay basically it's that there and there you go they flipped it upside down and more than likely it's right over here it could be this but more than likely it's this because we see that uh, is mercury part of it I'm not sure and we also see V action there so we get this cross action and that anomaly so it's something to do with this stuff up in the left hand corner of, as you can see, it makes all these triangulations because it is here and three. So it's up there and also over there and also over here and also there. So it's all over the place. So anyway, we did a disclaimer and out. Uh, short video this time, but a lot of interesting stuff up there. So pay attention to all, the, all as soon as I find something new, just haven't had time much time to look today. Busy doing some work. Later and out.